Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to see the topic of how to automatically generate quality orders in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. So if you are watching my video for the first time, my name is Sriram Sarvashankaran and I have been posting videos, documents and user manuals related to Dynamics 365 F&O. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Okay. So in today's video, we are going to see how to use the quality association uh, an option which is available in Dynamics 365 using quality association to automatically generate quality orders based on a business specific process. So first, let's get into the basic setup which is actually required. Uh, so inventory management and the inventory warehouse management parameters, you need to ensure that the quality management is enabled. So use quality management has to be enabled in order to generate the quality orders for any incoming inventory as you can see the 365 help text clearly shows for any incoming inventory this has to be enabled and if you want to perform the quality orders so this is the first setup and now we'll quickly get into uh setup sorry setup and then under quality control you can see there is an option called quality association so quality association basically helps us to provide the criteria using which we will be able to automatically generate quality orders based on the respective business processes so first let's understand this particular form so i'll click on new so first section is we need to provide the references business processes references so these processes can be like your purchase or inventory or sales let's say if it is purchased after receiving the material do you want to perform a quality inspection and then you want to complete the product receipt or if you want to complete the product receipt and then do a quality inspection and after once it passes the quality inspection you want to complete the invoicing so or if it in case of production after completing the RAF do you want to generate a quality order let's say if I select the reference type as production then you can see accordingly based on the reference type the the subsequent fields in process and quality order process gets changed so do you want to generate a, a quality order after report has finished has been posted or uh, let's say you want to create a quality order before sending the material to the customer before let's say for uh, before posting the packing slip you want to generate a uh, quality order inspect the material and provide a certificate of analysis to the customer along with sales invoice so quality order helps you to inspect the material block the subsequent processes and uh, brings absolute control for uh, um, for uh, your inventory quality management right so let's just take an example let's say we want to create a quality order for purchase and uh, item code is very similar you might be knowing this if it is a table then we will be able to select a specific item if it is for group then we need to select the item group and if it is for all then it is applicable for all the items so i am going to select table now and uh, item i'm just picking one item right now and uh, you can and you can see there are four four tabs which are basically available here right so first is the conditions we need to provide on which particular site you want to perform this let's say i'm selecting site number two and uh, do you want the quality order to be generated for all the vendors? No, I just don't want to do that. For a specific vendor, I want to do that. So, so I select the table and then I select uh, um, a vendor. Okay, let me select this vendor, Harry Supply. And this resource code and all will be used when you use actually the root, root operations. When you want to generate quality orders for root operations, at that time your resource code will be enabled. And so these are not relevant for purchase. So now first we have defined the condition. Now let's get into process. So as far as the event type is concerned, let's say I want to create this quality order after completing the product receipt. So execution should be after. So product receipt, I have kept the execution as after. So after completing the product receipt, I want to generate this quality order. Okay, so I'll close this first tab and then quality order process. So what is the event which you want to block after the quality order is generated? Let's say I want to block the invoicing. So after product receipt, we do the invoicing. So without inspection has been passed, I just don't want the invoicing to be processed. So even if you want, you can quarantine the material. If you enable this, then uh, the material will be quarantined upon quality or failure. And we also posted a document related to this. Please check out the same in my LinkedIn profile. And then um, specifications, this is important. So what are all the tests which you want to be performed in the system let's say i want this is basically let's say let's assume this is a battery item for which we want to perform the battery list check and what are all the tests involved basically being defined by this test group 
so so let's say there are two tests which are available under this test group so that will be performed and the item sampling is also automatically picked so this item sampling actually asks for 10 percent sample to be tested so if we are trying to complete the gr for 100 item under quantity uh, then 10 percent of a 10 quantity will be uh, used for quality inspection so acceptable quality level is also under which has actually been taken from the test group and expression never so that's fine so these are all the overall setup which are actually required for the quality association right so i will hit the save button and then i'll just duplicate this tab because we'll need to know parallelly how to we'll just quickly see how it actually reflects in case of your purchase order product receptor i'll click quickly create a purchase order we also made multiple videos related to procure to pay um, request for quote. Please check out check out those details. Uh, this is the vendor one zero zero three. So this is the vendor which we have created one zero zero three, and uh, the site is two. So I'm I know I, there is a warehouse twenty four in the site two. I'm picking it and click on OK. So I'm creating a purchase order for this vendor, and. And then uh, I will select the item. This is the item, right? Zero three zero nine twenty three. Fine. So this is the item, and then uh, I'm going to process a purchase order for maybe thousand quantity. Okay. So I'll just quickly confirm this purchase order because right now our attention is to automatically generate the quality order based on closing closure of the product receipt. So now I'll quickly confirm this purchase order. So the purchase order is confirmed. Now if I go to receive section under quality management if you if i click on quality orders you can see there is no quality order which is actually generated for this purchase order so now i'll go to product receipt because the event type we have given product receipt after execution should be after not before so only when i complete the product receipt the quality order need to be generated so i'll give the product receipt number with uh, today's date 20 sorry 2024 and then uh, i'll go to update line i'll quickly do the registration also at the registration line i want to do the registration for 100 quantity i'll confirm the registration we are not getting into the details of how this batch number is getting automatic generated so we have already talked a lot about it uh, based on the batch number group and then uh, now i have completed my registration but now right now i'm not closing the product receipt i'll click on cancel button so we actually registered the product but still you can see for the under quantity the quality order is not generated because our event type we have clearly defined it is after product receipt not after the registration we have not picked the option of registration otherwise it would have generated a quality order so now let's get into sorry now let's get into the product receipt and then uh, i'll once again type the same number and then uh, let me pick the quantity which is actually registered right where there is a registered quantity is 100 so i'll go back i'll select the quantity as registered quantity so it gives me the quantity as 100 now i'll hit the ok button so this will close the product receipt for this particular purchase order 146 for addy supply now you can also see product receipt journal is created and the lines section we can see under quantities received now if i go back and click the quality order a quality order must be generated you see the quality order is generated for 10 quantity because the item sampling we have given 10 percent uh, item sampling if i go to item sampling the percent test value is 10 so it has taken 10 percent of the overall gr and closed quantity so on 10 out of 100 it has to complete the quality order also now another important point is the quality order process we have actually given the event blocking invoice Right, so we need to ensure that the user should not be able to perform the invoicing without completing the quality order. So someone has to inspect it, pass the quality order for that particular material, and then only system should allow us to complete the invoice. So I'll quickly do the invoicing, and system should not allow me to complete the invoice posting for this for this 10 quantity. For sorry, for this 100 quantity, because your quality order is still pending. So I'll hit the post button. So we should now get an error message saying that the quality order is not processed or uh, yeah you see for the item 04 the update has been blocked because the item is in inspection or the parameter setup policy and quality association has to be changed so it is actually conflicting that is why we are getting this error or else the update 
will not happen the item has to be inspected and then only we will be able to close the product receipt now even if i get into inventory um, if i click on transactions uh, you can also see the status um, ordered received right but a uh, system will is not allowing us to complete the um, invoice posting because uh, because the item is in inspection so that's how we need to use uh, the quality order processing in Dynamics 365 so we saw how to do the setup and then quality association and quality order is automatically created after we close the product receipt and uh, we also saw how we were able to block the invoicing uh, using the process uh, using the even blocking option in quality association right so that's it for today's video hope to see you another interesting topic tomorrow if you want to get regular updates please do follow my profile hope to see you in another interesting topic thank you